It's one of my favorite things to do on Facebook, apart from breaking community guidelines and different crocheting groups and harassing people, is searching on Facebook Marketplace, specifically for different vintage camera deals that I can find. And back in the UK, which is my home residency for tax purposes, I found quite a good deal. So I found a lady called Shirley who was selling a bag full of camera equipment for just £30. So I sent her a message saying, Shirley, you're not selling this all for £30. And luckily she replied to me and confirmed that she was. So let's go back to England briefly and have a look to see what was inside of the camera bag. Okay, let's see what we can get for 30 English pounds. Now this green bag is absolutely brimming full of vintage camera goodies. So first off, we have this Canon zoom lens. It's a 70 to 105. Not really the kind of lens that I'd use. It is, however, in absolutely amazing condition. It has a nice built-in lens hood. This is gonna go on eBay straight away. Also in the bag, we have this old Canon flash gun. Not really something that I would use myself and I'm not really too interested in it either. Also, we have some expired film. This expired in 2004. I would use expired film, but not with a camera that I've not tested out for. I think there's too many variables that can go wrong. If you disagree with me, you know, let me know in the comments, but this is gonna go on eBay and I'm gonna be quite curious to know how much I can sell this for as well. A whole selection of different manuals. The camera manual is especially gonna be, be useful as I've never used a Canon A1 before. And there's another lens in here. So let's take a look at the lens. So we have this nice little lens pouch and inside there's some filters and a rubber lens cap and a Canon 50 millimeter 1.8. Again, just like the other lens in really good condition. I've made the decision that I'm really gonna keep one item from the bag and sell the rest. And unfortunately I have enough 50 millimeter prime lenses. So this one is going on eBay. So here's the remaining items that were inside the bag. Obviously the main feature being this Canon A1. I've never owned one of these before. I really like the look of it. And I think we should probably go somewhere a little bit more scenic and check it out. So far I'm really liking the Canon A1 with this nice little 35 millimeter lens. It's actually the first ever Canon film camera I've ever used and yeah, so far I'm pretty impressed. The combo of the 35 millimeter lens and this compact small body is perfect for wandering around and taking photos in Luana. Although I'm sure it'd be just as great in any other small capital city.
I think today's going to be a positive video. I like Slovenia, and now I like Canon for the first time. Although, despite my new fondness of Canon, I will still be selling the camera at the end of the video. Before my departure I'd already sold the 50mm lens and the expired film. I got about £40 for both of these items. At the end of the video we'll discuss how much I sell the rest of the items for and to see if I make any profit. So we've just a few more photos left on the roll of film. I'm gonna head up to the top of the castle, which is on a hill that overlooks the city. It's a bit of a trek to get up there, but I think the views are gonna be worth it. The Canon A1 is a historically significant camera. It's the first SLR to offer an electronically controlled programmed auto exposure mode. Not that I've been using any of the automatic modes today, I've been shooting fully in manual mode. I'd also like to say how well made the camera is and relatively inexpensive it is. It really isn't bad for a camera that was made in 1978. So there we are, I fully tested the camera and it worked absolutely perfectly. The only issue that I found was with the battery door which was slightly cracked which has devalued the camera somewhat. I've decided to keep the 35mm Canon lens which I used with the camera but I'm not keeping the camera, it's just sold as well as the Canon zoom lens that I had. The camera is ready to go to its new home and I would highly recommend anyone to check out this camera. It was almost tempting for myself to keep it but I think it's already time to move on. And we're going to be moving on with an Olympus FTL.